Hi, my name is Richard Lin, and I'm currently 27 years old. I'm a violinist from Taiwan, but I was originally born in Phoenix, Arizona, and I grew up in Taiwan. I started violin when I was four, and um, my father, of course, chose the instrument for me because he's a huge classical music fan, and his favorite instrument is violin. So um, that's why I started learning violin instead of piano or cello. And um, when I was four, my grandmother gave me a violin, like a one-eighth violin with a gold fine tune on it, which makes it very special, and that's the reason why I, I like to practice. Yeah, very fancy tuner. I would probably play Pagani, because you know it's a nightmare for everyone, and I really wish that we could have access to Pagani's original ideas and actually how, how he, he, he had done all these difficult techniques. So, Pagani pieces. Sports? I mean, I don't do sports, but I follow basketball and baseball. So, yeah, I, I love sports. Uh, Boston Celtics and uh, Arizona Diamondbacks. It depends, it depends. If I'm in Taiwan, then I would rather eat out because there's so many wonderful cuisine in Taiwan, it's so accessible. But in, in New York sometimes, especially in the winter, I, I enjoy cooking some soup, Chinese style soup, or Korean style soup actually, for myself. The best is you get to express your own heart through music, and you get to meet all different cultures, different people, and experience different food in different country as you perform around the world. And the worst part probably is that um, it's hard to have a stable life, like to form a family or to live um, very steadily in, in the same place and to have a daily routine the same way. That's, that, that's actually what I really would love to have, but uh, as a concert musician, it's very hard to, to have that kind of your life. Oh. You know, I was dreaming of road trip around the States. Like, uh, I don't know how long it takes, but I would love to take about like a month or two months break, um, no violin, and just drive with friends and go around the United States. Um, I went to China all the past years, and I, I started to see that more and more young children, they attend concerts and their parents um, wanted they, them to, to, know, um, to have more knowledge about classical music. And I feel like um, for the Western world, it's kind of a decaying um, thing in classical music. And people are more into popular music, rap, and stuff like that. But I think classical has a really wonderful tradition, and I would really look forward to, to, to the industry to be prospect that can especially <laughs> mm. I really like augmented six. I get the French one. That's very special to me. <laughs> to me of course competition is a good thing because it always motivates myself because I'm kind of like a, a little lazy person to practice. I mean everybody at some point gets tired of practicing every day but um, doing competition motivates me a lot, so um, competition for me is like a stimulation and it's also a goal that I, I, I keep myself in track of progressing. But it could also be a negative thing for some people because of course music is a form that's not compatible. I mean it's so personal and very, very, very um, subjective. So uh, some people may maybe a true artist, but he could never win a competition. First, be yourself. Because no matter what you do, there's people who, who will like it and who will not. So you cannot, you cannot satisfy everyone. So just be yourself. That's the first one. The second is believe in yourself. Because you, uh, there's so many times that many people are doubting themselves, including myself. I always doubt myself, but you really have to believe in yourself and believe what you do and what um, your music speaks, I think. 
And the third is don't treat it as a competition, I would say. You play it as concert and enjoy the stage. And yeah, um, communicate with the audience with your music. So the violin is um, 17, a circa 1700 um, testo ray violin from the Chimei Foundation in Taiwan. And it's a very special violin because it used to belong to the legendary pedagogue Glamian. And um, the violin has a really dark tone, a very thick sound, which suits my playing very well, I think. That's why I picked the violin out of basically you, they usually give me four to pick from. I mean, there are presentas and other violins, but I, I chose this next story because I think the personality suits me the best. And it, it does have some um, temper though. I mean, in Taiwan it's very humid, and when I travel to Indianapolis, it suddenly got the, the weather change, climate change, too, too extreme. So the violin does, did change a little bit sound-wise and also the response, the response became a little slower but um, yeah I overcame it and I mean it, it sounded really well in conditions <laughs> oh my that's hard because those those two are my weapons vibrato <laughs> probably because slide is like my it's, it's my life yeah, I love sliding I love fundamentals yeah. okay thank you very much thank you <laughs>